everyone welcome back again to another of my sewing tutorials today i'm going to be showing you how to tidy up the leg line on your chiffon fabric so what i have here is two kind of shape neckline yeah i have a u shape neckline and yeah i have a circle neckline and i'm gonna be using this bias strip for it if you want to know how to measure your bias strip what you simply do is this you take your tape measure take it like this then you just start See the way I'm rolling it. You measure it. Turn. Make sure you're always holding there. Hold there. You turn. You turn. You turn. So at the end, the total length of this circle is 22 inches. So to be on the safer side, that in two inches had more length to it, had more inches to it. You can add up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You can have up to fourteen inches to your bias strip. And what I have here is the length from the width from year to year is two inches so let's go to the second one yeah it's just a u shape in the blouse so yeah just in the same formula of measuring how many so you had a lot of inches to it you get it so yeah i'm going to be using one and a half inches but I will advise that you use 2 inches when you are cutting it out because I don't have enough fabric to work with so yeah, I think here is 2 inches 2 inches and here is 2 inches so have 2 inches or 2 and a half inches to it so now let's get started the first neckline I'm going to be working with is a U neckline so I'm going to be using this bias strip for it, two inches. So on this fabric, this is the wrong side of the fabric and this is the right side of the fabric. So what I will do here is, this is my bias strip. I'm not going to use an iron to iron it out, but if you have iron, you can use it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to fold it neatly. See? Make sure your edges are equal when you're folding it in. I'll fold it in, in like this. I'll fold it in like this. See the way I fold it? Make sure it's equal. Remember this I said this is the wrong side. So I'll take it like this. This is a neckline. So I'll go up this way. See. So, what I'll do here is, see I left this one free, so what I'll go here is this, I'll fold it, making sure it's all equal at the edge, then, when you are doing this, please be careful, especially when you're a beginner, you see, so I'm going to fold it like this. Then, 
I will not stitch half an inch. You see this half an, half an inch here? This half an inch here. Make sure the the edge is half an inch, which you are going to start your stitching from. Half an inch there. So now I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. I'm going to stitch it. But before I stitch it, I'll use my paint to hold it so you see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to use my paint to hold it first. To secure it so that is secured so now fold it again equal chiffon fabric is a very light fabric that when you are working with it you have to take extra care when you are working with it because it's so light so i'm using my paint to secure it for the sake of the tutorial So, so you just continue tidying up the edges, double it because remember I said I did not use iron on this chiffon, I'm just using my hand. So you take it like this, just follow the shape of your neckline, take the pin to secure it. Do it again. Hold it. Use your pin again to secure it. Take your fabric, the bias strip, hold it again, move it again, and hold it. Then use your pin to secure it. So securing it, you see, make sure you arrange it as well. Take your bias strip, make sure it's equal again, then move it, see we are moving it. Move it along your neckline, then take your pin to secure it. So now you can see, I've taken the bias strip round the shape of the neck I took my time to do it because I did not iron my chiffon so now I'll take it to my sewing machine I'm going to stitch close to the edge of my bias machine of my neckline I'm going to take this my machine then I'm going to stitch from here very close to the neckline now I place the fabric on the machine so i'm going to start sewing i'm going to keep yeah so now i'm going to stitch at very close to the edge like half an inch or quarter of an inch to the edge 
I'm going to do very slowly. When you're doing this, please don't rush. Take it slowly and so you can come out nicely. So I'll start stitching. Then I'll hold it like this. Chiffon fabric, when you're stitching, you have to be careful. Take out the pin again. Stitch. Then hold the pin, take it out. Then stitch. We are doing it, we are arranging it. So now I hold my fabric, then stitch. So this is what I'm going to be doing to till I get to the end. I'm going to stitch from here. There, 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 I get the end. As you are stitching it, please be arranging your fabric neatly because you don't want your fabric to squash together. So you just take your time, you don't need to rush. Then you do it slowly. See that I do it like this slowly. Take out your pin slowly and you stitch slowly. So I'll be doing this till I get to the end. To the end, then I'll arrange the many ones like this and I stitch slowly and I stop and I back stitch and I stop, I take it off. Please, my friends. Um, don't mind my thread because this is just a, a formula on how to stitch your neckline of your chiffon so I use different thread for this so when you are using when you are, when you are sewing your own fabric please use the thread that matches with your fabric this fabric is just a sample so I'm not using it for a dress I'm just this, showing you this formula to use for your uh, chiffon styles on how to maintain your neckline so this is stitch now. The next step, I'm going to show you the next step. So now, the next step is, I'm just going to shape the top bits, just to tidy up the top bits. Make sure you don't cut your, your, your stitches, your the stitch you have, just tidy it up a bit. So, just going to cut out some Use your big scissors because this scissors is a bit funny. Yeah. Don't use the scissors, use this bigger one. Cut that little bit. Cutting it, please be careful. Don't cut your thread. Just shaping at the at the edge, which I'm doing now. Now you see I've shaping it out the top bit. I did not cut the thread which I used in stitching it. So you see how I did this. So now the next step is, remember, this was the wrong side of the fabric. So now I'm going to flip it over to the right side of the fabric. You can either do it both ways. You can flip it over to the 
to the right side of the fabric, depending on your choice. But on this tutorial, I'm flipping it over to the right side of the fabric. So I'm just going to take it like this. You see where I take it? Then the one, the, this one that I stitch, I'm going to st take it like this, like this. Then I'm going to flip this over. You see, to me the top. So I'm going to stitch at the edge here. I'm going to stitch from there. Stitch, stitch, stitch. Stitch. So I'm just going to do that till I get to the end. So this is my machine. So I'll flip it like so. Then I'll flip it over like this then take it to my machine make sure you hold it then again when you're doing this please don't rush your neckline because you don't want the neckline to be messy so you just do it slowly take your time and you start stitching So you're stitching it, take your time, arrange it nicely, you know, then you stitch again. So I'm going to be using this method till I get to the end of my neckline. friends um, this is the end result what you're going to get remember this the neckline so I'm going to cut off the other by a strip the remaining one we don't need this anymore I'm gonna pull this off as well so you can see how are you going to get your results? The neckline. You can either turn it to the to the to the back or to the front, depend on your desire. But this is going to get, this is what you're going to get. Your neckline tidy up effect of it. So what you're going to do? Take this to the um, sewing board, to, sorry, iron machine, and tidy up your edges to smooth it out. You see. So.
this is the other side of it this is the uh, right the wrong side you see how it's gonna look like this is the wrong side so you can use this formula on the round neckline but the round neckline is somehow uh, a bit dodgy but I will show you on, my, on the part 2 on how to do your round neckline for your chiffon fabric. This is the new neckline formula you can use. So in the part 2, part two video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So for now, I need to go now. So you stay blessed and I'll see you on my next um, video. So for now, one peace, one love and bye for now. Bye for now.